Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1 Fathead Candy Roth. We're looking at a good day. We're going to get a touch of rain in the morning. And the reason I'm stressing the rain is going away, sunshine in the afternoon, because we have our opening of Dublin Deck tonight. And I'm telling you, I just saw the updated forecast. Rain ends at like 1 in the afternoon. Uh, and then sunshine, 65 and sunny for tonight. Candy? Yesterday, gorgeous day. Beautiful. Loved it. Absolutely perfect. Day, night, gorgeous. It was. Uh, we got out on the tennis court a little bit yesterday afternoon, Candy. Uh, uh, yesterday that is evening. shocking. That is shocking. <laughs> you right. played tennis yesterday? How uh, unusual. Yeah. I know. It's a strange thing for me. I understand. but You didn't uh, hurt yourself, did you? I was, uh, no, I did. I was returning serves. Leah was doing a few buckets of serves, and I was back there returning them, giving her a target to shoot at. And, um, yeah, we uh, were hitting around a little bit, and we got some practice in, a little practice yesterday. Is that all right? How was your practice? Uh, fine. I didn't have to move all that much. That's, that's good. And uh, she looked pretty good out there. But enough about me. How was your evening? <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. We had breakfast sandwiches for dinner. They were fine. Ooh, do tell. What what did we do? Uh, we had English muffin with uh, a bacon, egg, and cheese. Delish. Hey, you know, I could go for that for dinner most nights. Yeah, it was really good. Hit the spot. You know when something just is so simple and it's so satisfying. Was this spur of the moment or pre-planned? Yep. Nope, spur of the moment, because I'm like, you know, I got to eat dinner, you know. And he, you know, I said, are you doing something or am I doing something? Finally, he said, all right, I'm going in. And uh, that's what he came up with. Now, it is a little unusual. I mean, not maybe unusual is the wrong word. It's not common that everyone has English muffins and bacon lying around the house, you know. But we do. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what, like, if I wanted to make these, I'd have to go out and buy bacon, make sure I had the English muffins, and the cheese and the eggs See, were good we on. we like Oscar Mayer bacon, so when that's on sale, we get a couple of packages, we freeze one. It's not like we eat bacon a lot, but we do have it. And then the English muffins I also buy, when they're on sale, we freeze them, and I just took a package out yesterday, and he was inspired by that. That is nice. And yeah, you do not have to defend having bacon on site. I am proud of you. That is. Yeah, you freeze it. You see it on sale. You buy a couple of packages. You freeze them, then you have them. Otherwise, it's almost double the price. It's crazy what we have to do today. Well done. Uh, I caught a uh, part of the third period of actually part of the second period and third period of the Rangers uh hurricanes yesterday i watched the rangers tie it up 3-3 and then i went to bed i texted my father and i said i'm going to bed it's late i'm tired and if they lose i don't want to be up to see it right so right um and by the way that's how since i got older and when, and when i say that i say the last maybe 10 15 years i will go like if a game is close or tied and I'm tired, I will go to bed because if my team loses, uh oh, it makes it worse. I don't want to be awake to see it. Why do I want to see that? Let me just and then check. you can't sleep because you're so aggravated, right? And then, but better to check in the morning. And if they won, I'll be excited. I'll watch the highlight. That's uh, fine. So yeah, I understand that. That train was of thought. Good thing I went to bed. The Rangers, it took double overtime oh, for them to win. Boy, oh yeah. boy. Yeah. So a uh, a big night last night. Uh, Rangers go up 2-0, and they have not lost yet in the playoffs, which is remarkable. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Candy, let's start also this way. Uh, I have a food item for you this morning. It will run you $400 to purchase this particular pineapple, if you'd like. $400 for a pineapple. The fruit company Del Monte originally unveiled it in late January, but it was only available in China. Now you can get it in the U.S. They are called Ruby Glow Pineapples. Okay. Have you heard of this? They're tiny, right? Uh, no, no, they don't. 
I understand. We did do a a, a, t um, a story on tiny pineapples. You are correct. Um, no, these ruby glows, what makes them special, they are slightly red on the outside. And Del Monte is only selling 5,000 of them this year. So it's a scarcity thing. And allegedly, they are sweet. They are not sour. They are, uh, it's like eating a sweet fruit. Um, other than that, they're like a regular pineapple, but there's so few of them. And next year, by the way, they're going from 5,000 down to 3,000. There won't be that many. And people are paying $400 per pineapple. And Wow. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't know that I would do it. Dana was cutting a pineapple just yesterday. Tasted perfectly fine to me. Um... But yeah, normal pineapple, as you probably know, runs about $3 at the grocery store. Yes, true. Is there any food, is there anything that you could eat other than like maybe the greatest steak or cut of meat uh, ever put on the planet? Is there anything you'd buy to eat that would be $400, Candy? Not that I could think of right now. Mm. Maybe uh, a five-pound lobster and all mm. the trimmings. Mm. Mm. What do you Fine. think about that? Bring four friends along. Maybe you all split it. What do you say? I say maybe not. Maybe I'll just <laughs> eat till I can't eat another bite. Brian, I've decided what I want for my birthday. You see this five-pound lobster? It's $400, but it comes with a tub of butter sauce and coleslaw and french fries. and oh, That would be great. I would love to see it. Hilarious. You. Yeah, you you know you're not finding me funny this morning. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, Candy, we have plenty to do today. Your next bald and the beautiful entertainment that comes up at about eight twelve. We've got a special song at seven thirty. As always, I'm going to tell you about a couple of major organizations and or companies in this world that are going through a couple of changes and we'll tell you oh. what they are mm -hmm. all right also this is worth noting 10 a.m today is the radio presale for cole swindell with the with the word with the password cole uh Got that, it. can you spell that for us don't be a you know what, okay? I'm just saying, Cole. Let's How would know. you spell? How would you spell? I Cole? would spell it C O L E. Well done, Candy. Thank you, well but done. I'm, I'm sure other people might have been wondering too. Now, if we were doing some sort of purchasing around Christmas time, and we said Cole, I see how you might confuse the spelling. <laughs> but. Today, it is C-O-L-E. That radio presale starts at 10 a.m. and goes till tomorrow night at 11.59 p.m. And then Friday is the general on sale. So if you want those tickets today, 10 a.m. it starts with the word Cole on Ticketmaster.com. Or you can actually come up to the remote box office at the radio station, uh, which is in our bio on our socials. You can purchase there so a big day dublin deck tonight it will be sunny i promise you whatever rain we get early in the day here is going to go away we're going to be 65 and sunny the t-shirts the concert tickets we're blowing out a stack of tim mcgraw tickets dj salty jim no cover charge it's opening night river avenue oh it's up. gonna be something it's gonna be a good one Come join us and let's hit the roads, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.